So excited to talk to you both. This character just goes on, you know, it, it's in everyone's minds, no matter when they see it or how, <laughs> how they live with it, too. But I think that the best part about this is we get the continuation. And I mean, the first question has to be for everyone who is thinking even about this show is how did he survive during COVID? And we, it's one of those answers, right? Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, this is this movie we did is not about COVID. It's about the aftermath of COVID, uh, because we're all sort of sick of COVID and saturated with it. <clears throat> Even in TV shows, they've you know given a nod to it. But um, we see we left Monk at the end of season eight, our fin our finale, in pretty good shape, and he was kind of on, he had solved the case of his wife's murder that had always eluded him, and and now he's sort of on the mend. And we think, OK, he's going to be OK. And then COVID hits and he's now when when the movie begins, we find out that he's in worse shape than he was in the begin in the pilot of our series. Like when you play shoots and ladders and you go down the suddenly back, he's suddenly down a shoot right. and back. Uh, uh, we, we also tested the waters a little bit during COVID. We produced a four minute a uh, little public service, yeah, public service, little mini movie with Monk trapped in his uh, con tra trapped in his house and uh, trying to and, and interacting with the cast on uh, on Zoom. Uh, so we got to visit Monk during COVID, and that was almost like a test run for us. Right. Uh, when the last time we saw, you know, of course we, we saw him getting better. We saw the you know the things that were weighing him down, but. At the end of the day, there is a weight to be monk as well, which I think this kind of shows us, and it's still you know the progression of those things as well. So, do you guys should you think about that way in this story itself, the weight of being Adrian Monk? Well, sure. I mean, Monk is um, you know has a propensity towards you know depression and self-loathing. It's part of his mental health issues, and we wanted to you know really uh, honor those problems, uh, not send them up. We've always tried to do that in the show, in the series. And uh, yeah, he's, you know, he's that kind of person. Even though when we did see him at the end of the series, he was on the mend, he's a vulnerable, he, you know, he's on a, always on a slippery slope, not necessarily circumstantial. Sometimes it's clinical and uh, he's backslid uh, really, really far. So, um, so we find him in this very dark place. The movie goes to a, to a dark area that we never even approached in the series, really, even though he was in bad shape. We wanted to raise the stakes. Your question is beautifully put. The weight, yeah, Monk is just carrying this weight yeah. uh, on, uh, you know, around his whole life that he can't shake. And uh, he goes to therapy twice a week, three times a week. And it, it's still just, uh, it's just something he can't get out from under. Yeah. yeah, it's very, very relatable. People, uh, people really respond to to the character. So shooting something again, you know, a long form past four minutes. What was the thing that came back to you when you started doing Monk again? You know, was there a sound, a scent, the feel of his suit, or you know, the way he everything's pressed to that kind of made you feel like. This is the old suit of armor I used to wear. Well, yeah, certainly the 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 clothes, <laughs> and um, but just the way Andy's writing and it it it's of a certain piece. It's of a certain rhythm. Um, it's a very specific specific to each character. And one of the first scenes, if not the very first day, the first scene we shot was the airport scene where, you know, Natalie is arriving and Dish, uh, Disher is arriving. And um, I think we shot that first. That was our first I remember. Day, yeah. And so that was great because it was like a revisiting of a, re, uh, reu a small reunion. And, um, and that helped to localize us and, re you know, recreate that, uh, those relationships. You're right, though, uh, for Tony, uh, getting that j jacket on again, getting the same wardrobe on again, yeah. I think was a big part of, you know, 
mentally <laughs> just you know finding the character again but that first day was magical because it just everyone fell into the same you know the the familiar rhythms of it and it just felt like the band was back together i also really enjoy the juxtaposition of you know adrian being in a darker place but having more people than ever loved him was kind of a big part of this <laughs> Well, there's that. And, you know, he's unfortunately, he's got a big blind spot. There. <laughs> he's not aware or conscious of of how much, you know, positive energy and support is coming his way. He's right. he's too self obsessed. He's too self consumed. Um, that and, was part of what we wanted to convey on the message we wanted to convey that you know, people, everybody has goes through good days and bad days and highs sure. and lows. And it's important to remember that you're not alone. You know, you, you might, you, you, everyone feels like they're alone, but, uh, but even Monk has a, uh, has a, <laughs> even, even Monk has a, uh, has, uh, you know, a support uh, system that sometimes he's just not aware of. Right. And uh, it's important to remember that. Well, you know, the, 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 that's a good point. The reason for that, in my mind, as I'm working on the character, is that, you know, Monk is, it's really, his heaviness is about loss. He's lost Trudy first, which is why he keeps trying to conjure her again. And now, in the beginning of this movie, he's lost Natalie, he's lost Disher, he's lost uh, Stottlemyre, He's lost, um, he's lost his work, his, his, you know, the thing that just, kept his he's disappointed, head. He's disappointed his stepdaughter. I've, dis I've lost, yeah, I've, I've lost my, you know, the, then the, the book, I've lost the money, I've lost the, so it's, it's all about what he's lost. And he becomes so fixated on that, that he's, as I said, he's blind to, what is what remains and what's what's really still there for him well i absolutely loved it i think everyone's going to have an amazing time watches and thank you so much for for bringing this back too sure. i have to wrap but the last idea i'm going to throw it to you is a TikTok and all the best wet blanket things you can have adrian monk poo poo on essentially too because no one does it like adrian <laughs> 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 okay but have a great day thank very you. nice to meet you